Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of The Best, episode four, the show where we all present PowerPoint presentations with our top three nominees for the topic. This week's topic is the hottest Pokemon. We've got four people here. That means four PowerPoint presentations. That means 12 nominees total. And then at the very end, we're all going to come together and decide on the top three, not necessarily in order first, second, third, but just the best three out of the 12 presented nominees We've got some uh, some old folks here. Will and Kyle have been with us before, but David, you're fresh to the best. Are you excited? Uh, yeah, I have some interesting picks for this. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Let's just, uh, let's kick it off. Uh, we were discussing before the show the order. I think, David, we're going to have you go last, so you get a little bit of a feel for everything. And um, we're going to do reverse alphabetical order before then, which is a confusing way of saying that I believe I'll be going first, and then it'll be Will, and then it'll be Kyle, and then it'll be David. So let me, um, let's do the old, I'll get my PowerPoint up and running for you guys. Awesome. And select share. I, um, I don't know about you folks, but I, I don't know anything about Pokemon, so this was a lot of internet in my face all of a sudden it was it was also for me i did yeah. get to cheat and use some of chris's knowledge because he did that pokemon at ability video go watch that save data team uh on youtube uh, it's criminally underviewed compared to Pretty the good. inferior polygon version um that's the only time i will say that for any of our content ever <laughs> uh <laughs> okay you've got my white uh, screen right i have a white screen i'm going to yes. transition over to the white screen um uh, thank you karen for closing the door um <sighs> sorry i just want to be able to see it as well uh i guess i'm I could just full screen uh this yeah it's always so wonky it. with powerpoints and streams it's always wonky. Yeah. okay uh i'm good i can see it everyone at home I, should I hopefully see, a white see it screen, yes. i don't actually have chat okay. open uh, kyle if you want to monitor <clears throat> chat i would love you i got you thank you ladies and gentlemen we need to talk about the hottest Pokemon. <laughs> Hello oh my and gosh. welcome, Pokemon lovers. <laughs> so we all love Pokemon, <laughs> and it's because there is so much to love. Maturity, 25 years of Pokemon, 898 unique Pokemon, $105 billion in revenue, and the number one media franchise, maturity, variety, wealth, and dominance. It's what makes us all love Pokemon. But it also makes it easy to find at least one, if not possibly three, Pokemon that you are madly, desperately, deeply in love with. But sometimes it's hard to judge these things objectively. And yes, today we will be judging the hotness of Pokemon objectively. It's going to be difficult, but folks, I think I have. I think I have something for us. The pokey hot scale. Sure, you can, <laughs> but do you want to? <laughs> There's two axes on this scale. Lust and love from negative 10 to 10 on each. Um, but this is, this is just an empty chart. Let, we need to calibrate it. These are not my nominees, but let's just calibrate this real quick with some Pokemon. Lopunny. Sure. She's really hot, but she's probably as dumb and dim-witted as a Kardashian. So she's a 10 on the lust, but she's kind of a negative one on the love scale. You can't really love her. Let's talk about Pseudo Wudo. He's got a very pleasing shape to him, but that's kind of it. So he's, he's a kind of a piece of wood, man. Yeah, he's, he's dead center <laughs> lust, but not great in the love department. It's like a, it's like a hot dog you dropped in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> let's, keep, uh, let's keep calibrating this chart here. <laughs> Stoutland. <laughs> this is just such like a strong, mature, like comforting Pokemon. Like this man is like the friendliest police constable, but also the strongest. So you can absolutely love him, but you're not really lusty for him. <laughs> Let's talk about Shaman. Oh my God, Shaman. One of the cutest Pokemon hands down, but so cute that don't you dare love it. Don't you dare lust after it. I mean. Don't you dare. That is inappropriate on so many levels. So basically a negative 10 on the lust scale, but a solid 10 on the love scale. Another calibration, Klefki. Just 
one of the laziest Pokemon designs ever. I have zero feelings about this. I didn't zero know that was a Pokemon. <laughs> zero. Let me back up for you. That's a real Pokemon. It's just keys on a keychain. You could have pulled up an image of those plastic children's keys, told me yep. it was that thing, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> just an absolute zero, zero. I, I mean, a negative 10, negative 10. All around. Looks like just... a Kingdom Hearts enemy. Ugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know we're having fun here, folks, but this scale is actually rather scientific and serious, so I have a very... Um, I have a challenging one for you. Weep it. <laughs> <laughs> David, where do you, where do you, negative 10 to 10, where does this belong on the lust scale? Uh, huh, I, I think it's pretty close to zero on the love scale for me. What about on the lust? lust scale? It's pretty high up there for reasons that I think we all understand here. <laughs> Folks, so, so close to zero on the love scale, but a little high up there on the lust scale which is exactly where it belongs, <laughs> folk. This chart is irrefutable. But let's, um, I don't know if this is the last one because I forgot how many I put here, but another hard test. Mr. Mime. Will, <laughs> where does Mr. Mime go on the lust scale? And 10. <laughs> and Kyle, where does Mr. Mime go on the love scale? You know, I've been, I've been burned by mimes before, so it's going to have to be like a 6 out of 10. Okay, yeah, which I, I, for some reason, my chart is like a negative 10 to a 10. So or, it's kind oh, of like, okay. a, like yeah. a negative three or negative four. Yeah, yeah, pretty close. It's a negative eight or nine on the love scale, <laughs> but a 10 on the lust scale. Folks, that's two calibrations in a row. This scale is 100% objectively accurate, which means where are the 10 out of 10s? Well, here's Arena, one right okay. now. It's Zarina, folks. Oh my my first nominee. Oh my God. God, just look at her. Those big, mysterious eyes. Those lusty hips. Those long, long legs. Let's talk about love. From the Pokédex, I shall quote, Because of its strong legs, Zarina's kicking moves are powerful. It steps on defeated opponents to accentuate its wins. Just look at this. This is like the hottest, but also deadliest princess I've ever seen. Just imagine. <laughs> Just imagine if that was you. <laughs> like, Pokemon knows that this is one of their hottest Pokemon. Because, look. Look at look at these, like, unabashedly sexy poses on these cards. Look at them. They know what they're selling here. And, folks, I am buying. Just, just look at her. Oh, my God. Just, Would you say like you're the, a thigh guy, Ian? <laughs> no, it's not even the thighs. It's everything. It's the legs. It's the hips. It's the eyes. It's the mystery. It's the poise. It's the confidence. It's the hair swoosh. It's just incredible. It's a ten out of ten on lust and love. I think we can all agree on that. We can probably end this early. Except I have two more. Next up, we got something a little spicy for you. Something a little hot. Something a little dark and mysterious that you can't take your eyes off of. It's Gotharita. Oh my god. <laughs> just so cute, but so so just mysterious Looks like a and a girl. No. <laughs> <It's>, what's, <laughs> who is that? Who Wednesday. what's her name? Can you introduce me? I she I I've gotta talk to that girl. According to the Pokedex, <laughs> it's said that when stars shine in the night sky, this Pokemon will spirit away sleeping children. Some call it the witch of punishment. Baby, I am bewitched. Woo! <laughs> look, look at it's just like look at look like there's so many things that draw you the bo the bows they draw your so eyes. We we really glossed over the fact that Gotharina, Gotharina, Gotharita, yes, Gotharita is a pedophile. She's stealing kids. I'd like she... to call in a. Uh, a <laughs> <spirit> away, sleeping <laughs> children. Well, she just likes kids. She likes kids. That means there's long term potential. That's all. Oh my god! <laughs> it means that she wants kids someday. So much that she wants them today from other people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> just look at her. She's just so cute and lovely no. and dainty. I mean, uh, it's like it's like you can tell there is a hard goth exterior to this, but inside it's just a pretty, pretty princess. J just imagine. Just imagine this. One day, you're sitting at home playing the... Uh, critically awarded, universally loved game Pokemon Go. 
and you look out your balcony and you see Gotharita. <laughs> Just imagine she can be yours and she can be right there with you. That's a 10 out of 10, folks. 100% 10 out of 10 Gotharita. I have one one surprise left for you. Somebody that is just so incredibly overwhelming, both as an entertainer, but also in strength and poise and finesse that you can't help but be immensely attracted to them and you can't take your eyes off of them. We're talking about Halucha. That's right. Pokemon's best Nacho Libre style wrestling bird. Pokedex. <laughs> Talking about Halucha says, it drives its opponents to exhaustion with its agile maneuvers, then ends the fight with a flashy finishing move called the Flying Press. It will literally stifle its opponents or lovers by jumping into the air, presenting its beautiful form, and then smothering them with their chest. Like, he is just so gosh darn majestic. Look at him. The beautiful widespread wings, the incredible camp capitalizing covers colors i'm losing my words here i was and doing so well for so long he's super happy about it too he's like very he into loves it loves it like just look at him flying wow. press he's so majestic. majestic incredible how is that the one so part of your fast. presentation that plays properly over the internet <laughs> oh i don't know <laughs> he's just he's incredible look at him marvel in him he is a 10 out of 10 folks it's time to meet your new lovers. The hottest Pokemon. <laughs> Sarina, long legs, gentle lover. Gotharita, mystery, darkness, pleasure. And Halucha, rippling muscles, <gasps> dominant hands. All three of them, by far, objectively rated on the scale that we all agreed on. 10 out of 10s. The three hottest Pokemon. Thank you. I hate that so much. Think with your heart and your groin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. All right. I'm gonna kill. Props. My props on the slides. Those slides were legit. Yeah. Those were. I, I mean. Thank you. Yeah. My cheat code, which I've used two in a row now, is to just go find some crazy good PowerPoint template that is barely related, and then just go yeah. rip stuff. From it. <laughs> you don't say. Um, all right. If you want to kill my screen. Shortly uh, after, right. Will has the okay. same PowerPoint. Template. You are killed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be All right. So I think the same. I think next it is going to be. Oh no! Don't look at my. Will? Oops. Sorry. Yeah, the internet Will. just saw mine. <laughs> 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 Sorry, internet. Um. Okay. Oh. Let me put it on. <laughs> oh boy wow. oh that what a start okay i think everyone can see it uh what a start let me know if you can see it on stream if anyone's watching yeah i see pikachu making okay that i'm uncomfortable with i don't remember any of this so i'm just gonna go for it you know <laughs> um welcome to the hottest pokemon by me uh -huh. bill crosby i actually was the only author of this one this week Except for the other ones. Does anyone know what this is? This is your house. It, it's a house. It, yeah. Uh, a cottage, maybe? The is White it house? like colonial? I don't know. Random house unabridged dictionary. God! It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. I'm running out of dictionaries. Defines hot <laughs> as slang, sexually aroused, lustful, sexy, and attractive. <laughs> Number uno. <laughs> this has already been mentioned today. Low punny. I had to pick images that weren't disgusting. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> in for a treat later then. <laughs> Low punny <laughs> looks like a humanoid. Petite curvaceous and furry luscious locks grows fur in winter to stay warm community thoughts on low punny in all honesty there are right now only two pokemon that i consider not only attractive oh, but actually have a crush on 
The second one, I think I read this low punny. <laughs> low punny is very sexy and cute. It got some wonderful thighs and a nice booty, <laughs> although not as much as a Gardevoir. Mm. I still find low punny extremely attractive and would oh, sleep no. with her for sure. Oh my god, she be thick. She be able to use her ass, feet, mouth, hands, and unlike Gardevoir, she doesn't have a sharp, hard piece of skin between her boobs. Oh my god. A lot of people talked about her feet, to which I say, that gif. Oh no. Also, that gif doesn't play, but it shows Onyx getting hard and shooting a ray of beam out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, that one. Number two. Muck. I oh, thought I thought about choosing okay. this one. Ugh. He spent too much time around Chris. <laughs> Suspended in ecstasy. Might taste good. <laughs> mm. Could always clean the house and get in those tight corners. There's nothing sexier than cleaning the house. Ugh. Could fill me up. Oh, this is God. Me inside oh. of Muck. Oh, I oh, thought. No. Oh, my. No. You said could <laughs> fill me up, and then you showed a baby, so. <laughs> we went M Prig real fast. <laughs> no. no, let's skip this one. Let's skip this slide. <laughs> Number C. No. Oh, my God. Ditto. Oh. Self-explanatory, really. Yeah. Ditto examples. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Russell Crowe. Hideo Kojima. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> and Brie Larson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ditto can be whoever you want Ditto to be. Actual hottest Pokemon, Magmar. <laughs> Reaches nearly 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. Can spit scorching flames. Born in an active volcano. Also has sexy thighs. Wait, this is nominee number four. It's not. It, I think it's, it's, an, it's an aside. It's an yeah. aside. Oh, okay. 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 We'll allow it. We'll allow it. Thank you. Get fucked. I a horrible picture of Pikachu. I love that Blastoise <laughs> playing the playing the keyboard. I know it's supposed to be a GIF. It's not playing. So upset. You know, I've I've played two Pokemon games, but I never realized <laughs> that Ditto can transform into anything it wants to. Uh, so I just never I, that. I stupid Will said to himself, <laughs> I, "I bet Ditto will. can transform into anything." And so then I Googled it. And there were literally conversations of people discussing because there's some early episodes of the anime where Ditto turns into a picture of Oak and then another mm -hmm. point for Team Rocket yeah. turns into a person. So I researched before. So Ditto can literally be anything. Um, awesome. Which, uh, yeah. But if you go by the Pokemon, Detective Pokemon movie, uh, the eyes don't change. Uh, oh yeah, there's still like the, the also yeah. by the show the eyes also is don't that also really by the show? Okay, I yeah. only saw an, yeah. I read an article about the, the movie to the so. point where uh, if you go to like a Pokemon Center, I don't actually I've only been to the one in, in Tokyo, so I don't, I don't know about the other ones. They sell plushies of Pokemon like small ones, and then they sell alternate plushies of Pokemon that have Ditto face. <laughs> No way! <laughs> yeah, they do. It's That's great. It's cool. crazy. It's yeah. great. That's it's not like for all of them. Doubling your cash. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I don't mean to go off topic anymore, but researching this, I saw a lot of images and gifts from the Pokemon show over the years. Should I watch the Pokemon <laughs> show? It seems kind of good, honestly. It's what a new we, stream series. What if we did uh <gasps> What's the uh, All Systems Goku? We do that, but for Pokemon. Go <laughs> with the Pokemon show. I mean, some of the gifts looked real good. <laughs> yeah. I, Maybe um, we should. Pokemon All Systems Go? Ooh. <laughs> Pokey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's the title. <laughs> it found its way out. Oh, all right. I think Kyle's up. Oh, oh boy. I am up. Frick. Uh, um, yeah, sorry. I, I only had today to work on that presentation, so.
No, that was fine. That was good. Um, yeah, no, it was, I was like, good job. a lot of good images. I was stressing more about that presentation than work this week. <laughs> That was not true of me. Oh, I wish that was true for me. I was like, oh, I got to get this done. Oh, I almost downloaded this template. Guy. <laughs> I literally just Googled Pokemon PowerPoint template and just downloaded it. Man. Oh, that's my favorite thing. I almost downloaded that one. Nice. It's, it's very aesthetically pleasing. I like it. It's good. It's nice. Yeah. And I didn't have to do shit. So <laughs> great. Um, okay, you're, is it, uh, you're good to we're go. We're good. Yep. We're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. Fuck. Why is it contacting the, the server? I don't understand. Excuse me, server. Can you please serve us? Okay. Well, for some reason, my mouse click is not working, so I have to do it manually. Um, okay. So, what makes something truly hot? Ian, I know, has his, his, what was it called? What was the official name of the scale? The Pokey Hot scale. Sure, you can, but do you want to? TM. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's a very scientific way of going about it, and props to, to Ian and, and anyone else who goes that way. Um, I, I go from the heart. You know, that's, that's, that's what I care about. Bulging muscles, a bulging wallet, maybe, a bulging personality. Sure, maybe. That can make something hot. But for me, it's about what's inside. It's about who or what that Pokemon is on the inside. Sure, the outside's great, but what about their relationship to the world? To their fellow Pokemon? That's what really matters to me, and it's no more apparent than in my third hottest selection for hottest Pokemon. Uh, we've needed to go deeper on this subject for a long time coming, and I think I just have. Uh, I also forgot to switch. Uh, here's my third hottest Pokemon. <laughs> um, it's actually two Pokemon. Uh, they were created together at the same time by the same designer, obviously, and are meant to be each other's counterpart. They're the Bert and Ernie of the Pokemon universe, and that's hot. So the third hottest Pokemon are Throw and Sock. Look at these bad boys. They are... They are I think Throw is like a judo master, and Sock is uh, uh, proficient in karate. Um, but to go back to the Bert and Ernie point, what has been one of America's favorite pastimes? Wondering when Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street are finally going to start dating each other. The same can be said for any fan of Pokemon. Throw and Sock are counterparts, and also, most likely, super gay roommates who are just begging to come out together and start dating. They both come from an all-male species with no female counterparts, so yeah. you know, take take that for what you will. Uh, this is all all this information is from the uh, Bulbapedia or whatever, so it, you know it's accurate. Um, Sock is found secluded in the mountains, where it trains to increase its strength, and it becomes angered if it's interrupted while training. A very you know attractive thing in a man. He's focused. He knows what he wants. He gets in there and he just doesn't stop until he's accomplished it. Um, a sock that is trained to its fullest potential has enough power to cleave oceans in half with a single karate chop. I'm guessing kind of like Ooh. Moses. It's pretty powerful. And that's hot. Throw, on the other hand, he travels in a pack of five throw members or, or other throws. It's a pack of five. A you through. know, he's he, a through. Yeah, he's got his he's got his throw squad with him um, and any member of the group that can't keep up, they'll uh, force them to throw away their belt and leave the group. And that's harsh. But that's also hot because, you know, he means business. Um, it weaves its black belt from vines and it ties the belt to increase its power. And the belt absorbs, throws sweat and makes him more powerful. I mean, come on. What? Yeah. Um, it is, it's driven to throw its opponents, um, especially ones that are larger, and it will always try to do so. So you know he's going to be an absolute knockout in bed. And I think that's pretty hot. Um, so they, they, they come together as a pair. It's sort of a will they, won't they relationship, but you know they will. And you know that you want to be in that throuple with them. So that's, that's what's going down. <laughs> All right. Second hottest Pokemon. Magic is really hot, and magicians by association, are also hot. Um, someone who's incredibly intelligent, someone with smarts, that's hot. Second hottest Pokemon for me, and it's a true original, Alakazam. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Where's Yuri Geller? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
just like Penn and Teller, you know, they're true originals, super hot. He's a magician, but like an actual one. Um, Alakazam is able to use all forms of psychic abilities. And these powers are used to move its own body as opposed to its very weak muscles, which can't do shit. Mm. Um, so, you know, he can get in there. He can make you feel things you've probably never felt before without even, you know, using its own muscles. So that's hot. Uh, it also uses its psychic, psychic powers to hold up its head, which is too heavy to be supported by its neck. So, you know, he's got some big brain power grown. Um, its brain continually grows with age. And it's said to have an excellent memory and can remember everything that it has ever experienced since hatching as an Abra to the time of its death and has an IQ that exceeds 5,000. So, I mean, you want him on your Jeopardy team or, or your, your trivia team. That's pretty hot. Uh, its brain cells multiply continually until it dies. So, I, I, I mean... That's maybe not hot to someone, but to me, it's pretty hot. Uh, it's adept at precognition. So when attacks completely miss Alakazam, that's because it's seeing the future. And when they hit him, it's because he's been staring longingly at you. And that's hot. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go to, to number one, is an IQ of 5,000? Why are we making it dogfight? <laughs> um, <laughs> smarter I, than like the smartest human. I feel like his life is kind of suffering now that I think about it. I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming that prior to getting into dog fighting, it has explored every single avenue of poke poke vanity or pokemonity or whatever you want to call it, um, and has just decided that it wants to go out fighting. It wants to go out. Um, in in uh, a, a way that that people can watch and, and see its great intellect come to a, a final end, uh, and that's hot. Uh, okay, so my number one hottest Pokemon. It's the one you've all known would be here at the end. I mean, it's not even really a question. It's a wrestler. Wrestling's hot. It's literally on fire. That's also hot. The number one hottest Pokemon here is Incineroar. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you send um, that to me? Yes. <laughs> um, the the picture on the right is actually the 11th image that comes up if you just straight up Google Incineroar. So, you know, I believe it. It's judging now, judging or... where that lands him on Google, I definitely know I'm not alone in thinking this. Um, Incineroar's flame belt, it's you know, he's got a the belt of flame around him, uh is produced from within its body. Uh and bursts from its navel and waist as its fighting spirit rises. That's hot. Um, in addition to spewing fire from its navel, it uses ferocious kicks, punches. Uh, it disregards the safety of its opponents and any onlookers, uh, sometimes striking the opposing trainer with its attacks. It's a violent Pokemon, and sometimes it ignores its trainer's orders when it's not in the mood to listen. It just doesn't give a shit, and that's kind of hot. Um, despite this, it finds fighting unworthy opponents boring, and it only gets motivated fighting a challenging one. So you know he's got his eye on the prize. He's not going to you know, pull some sort of rocky bullshit where he's like, oh, I lost, but really we won. No, he wants to win, all right? He's in this to win. Uh, weaker injured opponents also cause it to lose its desire to fight. Uh, so the, the fire you know, comes back down a little bit, um, gets way less excited, uh, while other times it will use it to its advantage. So you don't really know what it's going to do. Uh, while it tends to uh, act like a heel, I don't necessarily know what that means. Incineroar is very okay. happy. OK, uh, is very happy internally uh, and excels at violent no holds no holds barred battles. Now will uh you you brought up Magmar as the hottest pokemon? Um True. I don't know if this is some sort of discrepancy but this is again on Bulbapedia. It says the temperature of the flames that issue from its navel exceed 3600 degrees Fahrenheit. Dang and I it. thought I think Magmar's was was 2200. 20, Karen lied yeah. to me. She's a yeah. liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, now maybe maybe there's a discrepancy here because it's the flames around it and it's not like its body temperature, but still I think that's pretty notable. Um, True. Incinero Incineroar's rough and aggressive behavior is its most notable trait, but it also helps out small Pokemon and shows that it has a kind side as well, and that's hot. Uh, so those are my three Pokemon. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, happy 
loving I, your Pokemon. I just had one question. In the previous slide, what is happening in that first slide? Uh, is he which one? is Incineroar sure on top of a trainer? Someone. I so yeah. I actually tried to find the gif or scene of that and I could not find it. There's an episode where that trainer and the Incineroar is fighting Ash and a, another a smaller Pokemon, but I couldn't find that specific scene. But I know it is from an episode. I just couldn't find. We gotta it. watch just, the show. I just wanted to watch the show. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Great. Gotta watch the show. Presentation. I'm convinced. I'm we don't even episode. need to see another one, to be honest. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll just go. <laughs> I mean, I hear Listen, you, Zarina Gotharita Halucha. Done. As my favorite save data team member, we need to hear what you're all about. I mean, okay. That's a correct I'm sorry. Right there. Um, slight corrections. Apparently, there are more than one thousand episodes of the <laughs> Pokemon. There are. Yeah, show. it's a long show. Yeah, twenty four so we'll seasons. Do a thousand, or we'll do a hundred an episode in ten episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what if you just watched like a minute from each episode? <laughs> oh God! Listen, for work, I had to understand Naruto in a very short amount of time. So, um. Don't complain so to do me this. about anime. I <laughs> should just hit me up. It's a weeb. Pitch this uh, pitch <laughs> to GameSpot. Pitch this to GameSpot. Honestly, I might pitch this guy, Paul. Um, <laughs> Can you all see... You were up, yes, David screen. Mertz. Okay. Oh, you're also doing a TED Talk. Awesome. Oh, of course I'm doing a TED Talk. That's what these <laughs> I'm are. not familiar with the Pokemon TED. I got one. I got one. It's a lot funnier than than you would think uh, when you're drunk <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, oh welcome everyone to my TED Talk, Which Pokemon Are Hot, presented by me. Before we get into which Pokemon are hot, though, there is something that we need to address here. And that is the definition of cowardice. <laughs> the definition of coward is here <laughs> coward as defined by the oxford dictionary a person who lacks the courage to <laughs> do or endure dangerous or unpleasant things secondary definition ian gibson uh, <laughs> and as you can see there ian <laughs> removing the ability to use r-rated not safe for work images he has That's ruined correct. me this was after i had already googled R-rated, not safe for work images, and I was. We don't need to know about your person. personal Pokemon. I'm already folder. ruined as a person. <laughs> I blame Ian. Moving on, though, uh, we need another Oxford dic dictionary definition, and that is the Oxford definition of hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sexual excitement, feeling or causing <laughs> sexual excitement. <laughs> she just looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> also, Jesus. I would like to point out the. A little uh, subtext from WikiHow there. This is from the WikiHow on how to reduce menstrual cramps. Uh, <laughs> can you have a secondary doing? definition of consent here, please? Because I think we need it based on this picture. Uh, no eye contact. Uh, oh, wait. So, are they implying that to reduce menstrual cramps, you should make love? And I have no idea. Her shirt on. On. <laughs> Wiki How, I did like. I'm not even going to talk about how oh, I got to this image, but it was just a Google search <laughs> image, not related to menstrual cramps. Is how I called. got. This. No. <laughs> oh boy. <Get> me here. <laughs> so we know that being hot causes sexual excitement, but what makes someone hot? There are three. Sorry, no, two things <laughs> that are important. <laughs> hotness. <laughs> there is looks and physique. And can they smash? Emotions and personality, they're great, but we're going for thought hot, not hot hot here. So who is the thought hottest Pokemon? It's Jolteon. Their hotness may oh. shock you. And you know what? I understand. I understand the confusion. I understand why would Jolteon be hot? It's just a dog. Well, I have an answer for you. And it's, it's really key to this whole category. And that's fan art, folks. You can't talk about the hotness of Pokemon without the hotness of fan art. Right. It's true of any medium. Absolutely any medium. And, and Jolteon, 
Jolteon's got that fit and agility going on. <laughs> oh, absolutely oh, fit and agile. No. Oh, I hate this. Very fit and agile. That middle picture, I'm not going to tell you where that uh, second basketball is spinning on. Not going to tell you where <laughs> that's spinning on. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to transition. <laughs> <laughs> but Jolteon, not only fit and agile, also very well dressed. Absolutely fantastically well dressed. Look at that. And just adorable. It's a pop. And going to the, the third point of, of hotness, absolutely smashes. 100% smashes definitely the all middle of yeah. the time smashes everywhere male and female jolteon absolutely smashes and going on from there it's not all just fan art you know some of it is actual poke lore and that's where we come on an entire species of queens that's salazzle a literal pokemon species of queens really See, Salazzles are female. They evolve from Salandits, which can be male or female, but are overwhelmingly male. They're like 87, 90% male. Canonically, as you can see, the, this screenshot here from Bubblepedia uh, has a reverse harem canonically. They say this <laughs> in Pokemon that a Pokemon has a reverse harem. Think about that. Jeez they basically Louise. canonically say in the game, this Pokemon fucks a lot. And not only that, Slezla has pheromones that work on both Pokemon and humans. In fact, humans distill those pheromones into perfu perfume. Oh, sorry about that. Perfume. Uh, and Don't get and too let, excited. Let's also not even... We can't just gloss by Slezla's sexy eyes. Does another Pokemon have eyes like that? I don't think so. Legitimately, I, I do not think so. I'm trying to remember Lopani. Like, look at that look. Look at Definitely that look. wearing mascara. I'm real Onyx right now. I mean, listen, like, damn good <laughs> too. The Lazzle can bring Oh my god. Can absolutely oh god. bring <laughs> <laughs> For my last oh. Pokemon, though. For my last one, we need to revisit the Oxford Dictionary, because there are more than one definitions for hot. Yeah. The first definition, having a high degree of heat or a high temperature. And, and I'm, as I'm sure all of us here and everyone watching knows, there are a lot of fire Pokemon. Some of them, like Magmar, Wimpy, pumping up 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Incineroar had, what, like 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit? 3,600. 30, yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's puny. I ask you this question Who's the hottest? <laughs> Who is the hottest Pokemon? It's Meg Cargo. Meg Cargo brings the heat at the speed of light. Why do I say that? Here are some hot things in the world. Oh Death God. Valley, not even visible. Hydrothermal vents, 750 degrees Fahrenheit at the most. The melting temperature of tungsten, a little over 6,000 degrees. The surface, of the sun, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mag Cargo, his belly, sorry, their belly, 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. If wow. that is not the hottest thing in the Pokemon version of Earth, I don't know what is. It's hotter than magma. Magma, Magmar is 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's based on the melting point of, of magma. It's 2,200 degrees. Uh, that's that's how hot magma is. About your penis. Meg Cargo. <laughs> Meg Cargo, nearly 10 times that. Nearly 10 times as wow. hot as Magmar. Incredible. Absolutely mind blowing. Uh, I'm going to keep a sword and tweet. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for coming for my TED you, Talk. Jolteon, Meg Cargo, and Salazzle. Top um, three, 100%. Wow. Do you need a break to go look at DeviantArt? And get some of your. Uh, oh no! I already had to do that. That's can, gone. Uh, that's a like forty-five second break, right? <laughs> it's a little generous. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, I've been working up for minutes over here. So, <laughs> oh, all right, man. let's move on, folks. Let's bring up the list. We have twelve incredible nominees. I'll read through them real quick while Will brings it up. It's up. The hottest Pokemon nominees in order of presentation. Zarina, Gotharita, Halucha, Lopani, Muck, Ditto, Throw and Sack, 
Alakazam, Incineroar, Jolteon, Salazzle, and Mag Cargo. So remember, we are trying to pick the top three, but not necessarily one, two, three, just the best three out of this list. Um, just kind of an open discussion. So we try to talk about each Pokemon at least a little bit before we cut it from the list. It's a little bit of a mad grab. You know, we can have ones that we say, hey, we think this will go towards the end. So let's put it off to the side. We have ones we can cut right away. So let's throw it out there. Anybody have a Pokemon they want to talk about to discuss? Listen, I just want to say, I think... I think Low Bunny is on the echelon of Lola Bunny uh, as far as hotness in a animated form. Uh, Muck, it was a funny joke because I just wanted to hit the Chris joke. And then... <laughs> but I also think Ditto has a place as a Pokemon that literally can turn and look like anything except the eyeballs. I, look, I'm going to be honest um, with you. I Look, I may be crazy about this, but I don't necessarily... I think I think the idea of, of a shapeshifter, Ditto or any other type of shapeshifter, is a really cool gimmick for a bit, but I would always feel like I don't know who the real person is under. So my my question for that is... When it changes or shifts into a different form, does it still maintain the same consistency of a ditto? Like, no, can I it don't can it like can it like I build muscle, or I, is it just like you you, you press it and it's like yeah? In, oh, that that makes that makes a big difference. Be a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a um, good point. In the I, game, does it does it does it repeat the moves of the other people? Which makes me think that it does. I get the physical leave. So yeah, because it only I, learns transform in the original game, at least. Yeah, according to Bulbapedia, it is capable of transforming into an exact replica of any physical object or living creature, including its form and abilities. Okay, all right. See, so that's yeah. that's legit. So uh, the, listen, Ditto's out there Ditto. for, for my problem with Ditto, real quick. Yeah, you go. <laughs> is that the hotness of Ditto relies on it turning into other things that are hot? Hot. So but Ditto's not the hot thing. It's the other thing that Ditto's turning into that is hot. But I will say, Ditto has the ability to turn into multiple hot things. So if you have multiple well, it can only turn things, into one thing, I, right? But it time. can instantly turn into another thing. So I think if if you, you know you're not you're not cranking it to the same thing every night, <laughs> you want a different thing every once oh, in a while. Boy. So how do you, how do you don't tell Ian well. that he's married? <laughs> Ian only uses the Bible. <laughs> Um, but I, listen. there are different versions of the Bible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That King James real dirty. Um, listen, Ditto Dost is thou know it. Ditto's up in the air. Dost Buck is out, <laughs> but I think low punny is like, listen, if I encountered a low punny in real life, I would ask okay. it out. Uh, let's, let's put, if it's okay with you guys, let's put low punny just on the short list right now, which doesn't mean one of three. It just means. Shortlist. We're going to talk about it later when we get down Tender. to five or six. Yeah. I still think um, Ditto should be on the short list, but if no one else agrees, that's fine. Well, Kyle, you haven't said anything about Ditto. Uh, well, it was just the question that I had. I, I think, um, I mean, I think that the, the, the inherent hotness of Ditto is valid in that it's not itself very hot, but that it can turn into multiple uh, any things that you find hot. Um, and I think it would just be a matter of is is the is the Ditto willing? You know, is it is it consensual? Is it like, yeah, no, I'm down, I'm down to do this for you. I'll turn into yeah. Alec Baldwin again. <laughs> so let's <laughs> <laughs> let's leave Ditto off to the side for a bit then. And um we need to talk about the hot boys, specifically Mag Cargo and well, I guess Mad Cargo is kind of the only one that is on here specifically because it's hot. 18,000. Yeah, mine in Incineroars was not on there because of if it's he that was just a, a pleasant yeah, thing that will yeah, brought up and hot. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I I'm I'm I got to ask, and I'm sorry David, but the Mad Cargo does that play? I don't think that's the hot we're talking about. What do you guys think? Listen, Depending on which Oxford Dictionary version of Ot we're talking it's about, Random House Unabridged Dictionary. 
But does it have a had... secondary definition like Kurt or Coward did for Ian no, Gibson? It was the seventh <laughs> definition. <laughs> I thought you're gonna you could have done Random House and it had a bridge on top of it. Random House under bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I, I'm sorry, but I feel like Mad Cargo doesn't cut it. I think it's a great I joke, agree. but I don't think it cuts it. On. That's I, why I, put I, my I would also agree. Okay. Um, I'm going to cowards all of you. Strike the from the <laughs> list. Hey, only some like it hot. They're a slug. Oh, great movie. Hot. Um, <laughs> I okay. Look, Gotharita. I could not read y'all's reaction necessarily. So absolutely give me, give me not. Gotharita is a pedophile <laughs> hard pass. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, not, not. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Okay, all right. We could go away with Gotharita. It's pretty specific. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're disgusting. I'm just, I didn't even look at the definition because it didn't think of it. Because I was so, so surprised when said, Look, this is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what Gotharita's age is. So I thought you guys would accuse me of being a pedophile. So when you accused her of being a pedophile, it completely shocked me. I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, boy. So good. Um,. Let's. What what other one do you guys want to talk about? I, mean, I, I feel think, like. Oh, sorry. Salazzle. Salazzle is a canon. I, I like Salazzle. Verse harem owner. I I think I think Salazzle, by definition, as you described it, is hot. I don't feel hot at all. When I'm. I look at that, I'm. I'm, I'm not, and I'm. I'm prone to to not like it because pheromones feel like cheating. Get up. Pheromones like, are part of hotness. What the fuck? Yeah, but but we can't. We we also can't smell it. We can only look at it yes, through this medium me that we've chosen to do this. So I I feel like it's invalid. Yeah, I don't know. I just I'm not I'm not attracted to that. It eyes. definitely has. It is it is a very Those sexualized lizard. Eyes. I'm into it. But like, if you're into Naga stuff, you know, I mean, go for it. But how about we keep it me. on the list for now? Listen, that waddles up to me. I'm not saying no. <laughs> Shoot, when you put it that way. Exactly. I don't I'm not saying yes though. I would have Is to Is it think better that. than Cyberpunk? Would you rather do that than Cyberpunk? <laughs> do you want to do you want to pull up the picture of like teacher oh, Salazzle no. again real quick? I can, no. I can pull that up for you. I can't I I I had half a mind to censor a bunch of low punny rule 34, but I decided against Dear it. <laughs> <laughs> see by the time ian said none of that it was too late i already had the images so i said so. I, uh, I will say my ditto joke played perfectly with karen because i play put all those examples and she goes but those are men and then i went brie larson She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um so I, I say we leave Salazzle on here for now. We don't cut it. We don't yeah. promote it. We just let it sit for a bit. I, I wanted to say I completely agree with Throw and Sock. Um, no, listen. The belts absorb their sweat for potentially years. It's, hard pass. No. He, no, but the, but the difference is he can take it off. The clothes are not like embedded in their skin. He, I mean, he you made, think that? He, first think of all, he, he, can make, he can make his own clothes. That's you think he showers? Well, I, um, I think he I think he bathes in, in the river, you know, like what if you can instantly suck all the sweat off yourself? You'd probably <laughs> you said, be OK. And when he uses it. Yeah, he uses it to power himself. Oh, yeah. God. When you said I when you said like the Bert, <laughs> when you said the Bert and Ernie of Pokemon, I thought that was like the perfect analogy. But then I realized I don't think Bert or Ernie are hot. I respect them. I like them. But I don't think they're hot. When I look at these well, guys, they support their relationship. They they're, hot. they're not hot. No. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I, I didn't bring that up to say that Bert and Ernie were hot at all. I just I mean, brought it Bert up as an anal as they're they are in an analogous situation that fans of yeah. Pokemon can be like, will they? Won't they? And will I with they if they will? You know. But these two, I'm. I, I just don't. I don't find them hot. I think they're good looking, but I don't think they're hot. That's because true. because also, they where. look like they could be related and like yeah. That's they some sweet home Alabama shit. Who here. cares if they're related? They're Pokemon. And uh, look, I think I think there are three entries on here that are pretty similar to each other in terms of like Pokemon personality and like occupation. And it's Halucha, Throw and Sock, and Incineroar. And Throw and Sock are the bottom of those three. I mean, Halucha's pretty good. Yes. But what I'm saying is, before we even go there, 
we have Incineroar and Halucha already above Throw and Sock. I just <clears throat> so I, are we done with Throw and Sock? Because I want to bring up something new. Are are we are we okay with with cutting them? I yes. I, I agree with your Burt Nerdy comparison uh, against the Burt Nerdy comparison of Kyle, and also the related thing kind of threw me for uh, for aggressiveness. <laughs> They're related. <laughs> No, no they they're look, not related. Yeah, they're, they're not, not. But it yeah. kind of made me think. It would have made them hotter. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can be. I just wanted uh, to bring up. Step, bro. Let's. You know what? You know, we've only cut two from this list. Let's leave them on for now. Yeah. Will, I just wanted to bring want up. To talk about? Jolteon grosses me out because it's four <laughs> legs. No, no, no. I don't. So, okay, my my thing. That's with Jolteon, not the Jolteon that you should think about. My, I don't my want to think about Jolteon. another Jolteon. That grosses me out. What you just put on the screen. <laughs> That's you Jolteon. brought up. You brought up no. fan art, right? It just makes me think yes. of like gross beastiality. It's the art of man. I don't want anything to do with like, that. You can't discount fan art and Pokey hotness. No, no, no. A but horny but artist, he, a horny artist can make anything sexy. And yeah. this is what Jolteon really But I have to think about the reality of Jolteon, which is this four legged yeah. beast, which makes me think, ew, dog, which makes me think, ew, gross. Yeah, sorry, You're Kyle. You were talking a Pokemon, regardless, <laughs> which are which are animals. This is in really, this world. really what we're talking about here. Is is like, fucking Pokemon. listen, listen in in Johto, heart or gold and silver, heart gold, soul silver. What do you want to say? People eat Pokemon. Oh, I eat it's dogs, canonical. But I don't that fuck dog. Pokemon. Listen, don't yeah, bring, that's my point. Bring, my point don't here. Bring your save data fetishes is in that here. All Pokemon <laughs> in here. Every single Pokemon is an animal. So my my thing with Jolteon that you brought up is you showed us what a Jolteon actually is, like what wait, it looks like. Wait, wait, wait. You fuck a low bunny? That is a bunny. <laughs> but she walks on two feet like a sexy lady. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go. Oh my god, go ahead, Kyle. <laughs> bring us bring us out of here. So you, you brought you brought up the actual Jolteon, which by all accounts, um, the stuff that's like on it is that fur, or yeah. is that like it? Okay, so it does. I it's fur. I, I was I was assuming I that agree. that was like hard, like you know, a crystalline oh, no, kind no, of. That's, that's fur. <laughs> I will double check. <laughs> also, as a bonus thing that I forgot to mention, Jolteon give you some electric jolts in a good way in the middle. I feel like uh, honestly, when you first said Jolteon, that's the route I okay. thought you were gonna go was electric <laughs> shock on the male block. I just Pick any electric look, Pokemon for that. We Jolteon is a deeper. <laughs> Jolteon is a good looking Pokemon, but it is not a hot Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not. Do you want I'm me to bring up the pictures again? I can. I'm like, not into it. The mind. only the only <laughs> picture the only picture I was into was the middle one at the end, and that was like. <laughs> So oh, far removed so from what it actually is. <laughs> what about the yes. one that had the basketball spinning on? I was into that one. Oh, yeah. Maybe, no. maybe if we had seen more of it, I would have been into it. Can but... we just send it to you? I can't Listen. put it on stream. <laughs> look, put it in the group when you chat. Give a dog... We'll all look at it. <laughs> when you give a dog tits, then I'll pay attention. Okay, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Jolteon's gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah Jolteon's I'm, out. I'm okay with that. Um, oh, I deleted the uncensored. I'm not banging one. electric <laughs> dogs. I don't have that one. Okay, let's um, let's go all the way to the top. I have special feelings for Zarina. What did you guys think? Let uh, me bring you, up the picture. Can you put a picture again? Because I don't. Yeah, remember. I need. I need to see it. Just majestic royalty. Yeah, I just it. You know, the problem with most of the Pokemon with me is they look they look too small. And I relate small with children, and I don't want anything to do with that. So I like, I she looks very childlike, and I don't like she, it. She is only three foot eleven. Exactly. I didn't realize that. For me, like Those I get the legs, legs, but beyond that, like, no. The tiny arms are gross. <sighs> Kyle, how do you feel about Zarina? Um. I mean, personally, I looked at her and I just thought, am I going to get poison ivy? Like if I like, am, am I going to start? Because she looks like That's a flower. Um, is she, I'm guessing she's like a grass type Pokemon, right? 
Uh, yeah, yes. I yes, yes. believe so. Yes. Um, and you know what they say: leaves of three, <laughs> leave them be. Um, she's got three long she's things. Four. Leaf. Where's the fourth one? The, her bangs. That doesn't count. They don't have the same like two or three yellow strip things. Isn't? I'm sure isn't they that... do underneath it. I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll I'll look it up. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> I mean, listen. I also don't care. Dear I think Nintendo. This one from the list anyway, but <laughs> I, I. I, I understand. I feel like this is the one where it's it's like the person that I don't want to say they look average, but they look they look cute. But she's, there's something she's, about them that makes me go wild. And she's it's like, very clearly, yeah, okay. very clearly done up, which I can appreciate. She yes. put a and lot of work into her look. Yeah. There's no good. But feet, it's a particular you know? attraction. Yeah. Oh god. All right. Like I could uh, see her. I could see her on like RuPaul's Drag Race. Gotcha. Like, yeah. I think that could work. Yeah, also, I, I could see that. I will say the sexy thing of like the like turtleneck covering the mouth sort of thing. I will see that. I will. I will see that and raise you. That yes, that is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and raise you a boner, a what? <laughs> An onyx. <laughs> so many okay. gift didn't. Play. She's gone. Um, let's talk about Muck. No. Let Wolf. Let's. Can I... we just skip this? You don't ever dream of like swimming in a pool of like pudding? Ugh. No, we so swimming, good. Yes. But not Swim inside else. muck. This is the it's dirtiest pudding it? I've ever seen. It's like unlimited lube. Isn't, 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 isn't muck toxic though? Yeah. Yes, but a, who cares? A, it's a chemical burn. Get over it. You'll <laughs> die. A chemical burn that will completely dissolve you. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's sludge Pokemon. Yeah, just literally cut, muck. Just cut just muck. Pokemon. Fine, get rid of muck. Get out of here. It was a poison type. It was a muck joke anyway. Go muck yourself. <laughs> uh, muck on me. Everybody muck on me. <laughs> no, no, that's something else. Muck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, who oh, haven't sorry. we haven't talked about Alakazam yet? Yeah. The original, I, look, the original magic daddy i i don't i don't mean to 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 to, to be harsh towards you kyle but i feel like the more you described alakazam the more pity i felt for them they 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 literally have to use their powers constantly just to keep their head up and that feels like a very tortured existence and that's not really i true. feel like i feel like it's tortured for anyone with a non five thousand point iq but for him okay. it's like yeah, he could take beyond. pride in it yeah I feel he's like he's sexy in the like <laughs> date the guy who'll give you a lot of money and then bang someone else. He's, on he's, the side. he's, a, he's a sugar daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So I think I'm totally his without wealth is two spoons. Yeah. Well, he made apparently ac well. according to Bulbapedia, he created the spoons with his own psychic powers yeah. so he can so. manifest his own wealth. So he's a spoon tycoon. Yeah, he's a spoon coon. He's is oh, he I, big spoon or little spoon? <laughs> he's um he's whatever he feels like. Does he have a spoon cocoon cocoon. <laughs> oh god. Will we're gonna watch this stupid show, aren't we? It just yeah, looks so let's good. Do it. These images I'm so... into it, you know. I hate Pokemon, um, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> watch a thousand episodes even though I hate this. Just I, I for you. 1158. <laughs> I do so many things for Ian already. It's just added to the list. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so I'm I'm okay. I mean, I sort of threw him in there because I thought that his stats were funny, not because you know mm -hmm. his his stats are really what's hot. Um, I'm I'm okay getting getting uh, rid of him. Okay. Okay. Right. Alakazam, he's gone. There you um, go. We have not talked about Incineroar yet. I'll just intro by saying Incineroar, very strong contender for me. I I will I will die on a hill for Incineroar. Yeah, Incineroar is powerful. I'm just and from, of the from my burning. slides, <laughs> from my slides, we know Incineroar can smash, right? Like, yeah, yeah. he's in Smash. He can smash. He's also he he has a built-in chastity belt. Yeah, but that it, belt is. I don't know that I would him, put that right? on the hot. <laughs> You don't put chast. Ugly people don't need chastity belts. But is all right? his is his penis part of the belt? Because I don't want to fire penis. Uh, no, so me. he so the the belt the belt apparently is not always there. He, okay, he can, perfect. He can sort of. I'm on board. Manifest. It, it. it rises and falls like the 
sun. Or but something. if he gets too excited and it pops yeah, up in the say, middle of everything, <laughs> I was gonna say if it's based on excitement, uh, it's uh, sort of the uh, it's sort of the Superman problem, where <clears throat> you know, where he it's Superman. Me. Yeah, um, we've all been there. So, <laughs> um, um, but I would, I would I would I would trust him not to yeah, not to. Yeah. See, I'm in a Cinderor A on two legs. B tail <laughs> c very muscular and attractive d yep. i feel like there's some claw play in there oh yeah your bit. back's gonna get all sorts of scratched with a little bit of scratchies a little okay, bit of nippy okay. pinchy um <laughs> and then some of those teeth there i think would be pretty good uh as well as the mane for like pulling and thrusting fingers through so uh, yeah. I'm a hundred percent onto the Incineroar train. I don't. I don't know if if Incineroars do. Um, what is it? Uh, don't lions have like a mating bite or wolves or something like that. But he'd probably yeah. do that for you Why if you asked me? him too well. Yeah. Okay. Like I put him on the short list. Yeah. Short um, list down. <clears throat> let's let's go back to let's go back to let's go back to Ditto because we need to talk about Ditto. Listen, we can cut Ditto. I'm perfectly fine with cutting Ditto. Okay. I still think if I had a leftover ticket to Paradise Island, I would invite Ditto so I could like bang a popcorn machine or something, you know? Um, what? But, you know, it's just okay. anything. It's literally oh. anything. Millennium Falcon. Like, yeah. what, what do you we... want? Greedo. Job of the Hut. <laughs> Let's talk about, we haven't talked about them yet. Let's talk about Halucha. Mm. Our number one fan. Strong contender, right? Very strong contender. I feel like I know I'm biased, but I feel like after I me, mean, like before we talked about Incineroar, I was on Team Halucha. After talking about Incineroar, I'm on Team Incineroar. Uh, but I think th th again, this is this is me personally speaking. I think Incineroar is a bit too aggressive for me, whereas Halucha replaces that excessive aggressiveness with like maturity and like gentleman. You know, and I personally prefer that. Hey, we're going for hot though. Yeah. And I think I, the aggressive I, trumps. This is like this is like world's most interesting hotness. man, is what I'm looking at. And that's Oh, that's I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go. I mean it's it's a luchador. I would can, not go that can far. Can Halucha <laughs> lift me into the air and fly with yeah, me? A, I mean probably well, you mean, I mean like actually wait, okay, okay, can Halucha learn fly? Can Halucha learn it is, fly? I would assume so. Um. Yes. Yes, it can. Okay, but it's only but it two can't, feet tall. It cannot participate in sky battles. Why is it don't beak know not are, its but... mouth? Also, yeah, that makes me a little uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, because then it's like a mask. It's like a lucha luchador. Yeah. yeah, but just I would put Incineroar in a luchador mask, and then I'm there. All right, but look, I I'm, that's okay. gonna make that's gonna make it very difficult for Halucha to eat out. I'm not gonna lie, having that beak okay. there that is not. Part I feel of the mouth. like I feel like really? Halucha and Incineroar would fight each other in a wrestling match, and then be like either really good friends afterwards, or like maybe there's something there between them. I would so, have Halucha over for like that. tea. <laughs> what? So, I I hear you guys, but I'm hesitant to cut Halucha because for me personally, I think throw and sack. And Salazzle are not as strong as Halucha. Salazzle is oh, way Salazzle is powerful. Bro, I, I mean, to me, this is low I'm, honey Incineroar Salazzle, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with Will on this. I'm one. fine getting rid of Throw and Sock, not Sack. That's their bedroom name. Oh. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'm I'm okay getting rid of them. So now we're down to. Uh, I'm going to put all four of them up, and we can continue to discuss. We have Halucha. Yeah, you can continue to discuss Halucha while the rest of us decide <laughs> on the three that are. are I just I don't like. The Low last honey. one reminds me of like, man, it's the some cartoon war. with like an Egyptian. It's almost like an Egyptian snake lady. Stargate. I, that's like kind of what I'm thinking of. I, I guess sounds like Stargate. <laughs> yeah, Stargate, will... Ian. <laughs> I will say right now. I am Salazzle does absolutely nothing for me. And I, I'm not I'm not into it. I would much rather have Halucha. Dude, Salazzle's got like Salazzle knows that she's hot. <laughs> 
I and mean, will good for flaunt her. it and like but show it to you. Does she deserve it though? But I feel she like she she has a harem, bro. But would you rather have someone <laughs> into it the whole time, or someone who's just like maybe one once or twice a month you'll get it? I must like you, Haluch is flying all over good. the place doing wrestling matches versus. The Lazzle just wants men all the time. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine Halucha is pretty worked up after a match and he needs to yeah. blow off some steam. So wait, Halucha's let me just... tired after a match. That little body. Yeah, he's going straight to sleep. Oh, he's on. drinking three <laughs> Irish whiskeys and hitting the hay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me just let me just break this down real quick. So it sounds like Incineroar is I a like lock. Incineroar and Lopunny are in. Yeah. Yeah. I think yes. I think for sure Incineroar is a lock. And it is now basically down to Halucha v. Salazzle. Is that right? I, I'm with you there, yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay, so let's let's continue that discussion. I just, I, I, I'm not quite as far as Kyle, where it's like it doesn't do anything for me. But, but Salazzle feels like, Salazzle feels like a 2 out of 10 that knows how to put on makeup really well. And it's it like, also, yeah, sure, it's helping you, but it's not boosting you up it, enough. Salazzle's it also got it. It also doesn't help that Salazzo is only female, and I'm not really digging that. So maybe I should just remove myself from the conversation. <laughs> no, because you're my only ally. Blend this, it. So I need you to stay in. <laughs> See, and here's the thing. Salazzo's pre-evolution, Salanded, almost all guys. Yeah, but we're not discussing that. It's true. It's true. I don't know. I feel like... I, we got yeah it's this is tough but i just i i salazzle is just like and salazzle lizard got that tongue i'm just gonna say it it looks too much like a snake for me but look i, I like you can it. almost imagine what's at the Halucha's bottom a of that fucking belly bird. there towards the tail <laughs> birds are cool birds oh, look are cool at, look at their, like like halucha has got are... them thighs like look at this so does salazzle look but i feel like salazzle can hold you Just real tight it's got that. She got the tail too. Like, like you can have fun. You can have fun with Salazzle. Well, also, like Salazzle is going oh, to show yeah. you a great time in bed. Halucha will show you a good time on the mat. That tail's How like sneaking you. up behind in the back, back. back you know room, I'm right. Going in. You no, know I'm right. And here. you're like, I don't think I will like this. But then the tail goes in a little bit, and you're like, I kind of like this. And again, I have a beak on Halucha that isn't the mouth. Uh, I have a proposition. So those breasts. Uh, I feel like we are together. I feel like we are at an impasse in a way, and I think we should use a third the party. hidden enemy of Pokemon, which is RNG, and I think we should roll a die between Salazzle and Halucha. I thought you were going to suggest f fighting them against each other in like a oh. Pokemon battle. That would be too complicated, but that would be cool. <laughs> that I would just... have required prep work. <laughs> If we had an audience, we could put up a poll right now. But I, I just, I can't back down on Salazzle. That's, just, it's just, it's like, I, I can't, I can't say well with that. And I feel like you guys are the same way in favor of Salazzle. So. Yeah, Halucha doing is not doing anything for me. Like after seeing Incineroar, just like, is Halucha but better in every way, shape, and form? Like absolutely so, better. Whereas Lopunny and Salazzle have different hotnesses, different so styles of hotness. On stream, could you could you bring up like a pick two type thing? Put them both in and roll it. Oh yeah. Pick two type thing dot com. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that works. <laughs> pick two, how to play Florida Lottery. Nope. Cause I well, unless I'm mistaken, Kyle, you're you're Halucha and I'm Halucha. Yes. And Will and David are Sly. Okay, yeah. why don't I, I just mean, do I a think coin flip? Yeah, yes. but I just I okay. want to if we can show it on stream. Yeah. Um, FlipSimulation.com. Give me a second. Give me a second, everybody. We need to have real randomness. We have to simulate our flips okay. with physics. Um, what? <laughs> who, who is who? I think heads is Halucha. Tails is Salazzle. Oh, Tails is definitely Tails is Salazzle. Definitely Salazzle. She got the okay, tail. I'm going to click flip it. Is everyone ready? Yes. 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 Ready for disappointment. We, we, we can't see it. Wait, actually, wait, wait, wait. Is wait. It, yeah, can Sh you put it, it on? Yes, yeah, show it to us. Oh, you want me to reflip it now that it landed on? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, well, we, we you could have clicked, you could have clicked it multiple times. That's we true. Don't know. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay. OBS sure. Ninja. Actually, the winner, <laughs> the winner is just oh. Tails from the Sonic Universe. 
Tails, so anyone from the Sonic universe is never a winner. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This is this is the most contentious it's been. Wait, so he's always it... landed at a bottom three some, somehow. Okay, you can see it now. Okay, now I can see it. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm going to hit... Heads is Halucha. Tails is Salazzle. Yes. Everyone on the internet can see all my bookmarks. I'm going to hit flip it. Are we okay? <laughs> yes. Yes. The lazzle. Damn it! Lazzle's it. Let's go, folks. Uh, Ian, you should have taken the result that you're you couldn't not doing see because it was heads. <laughs> Never doing the show again. <laughs> oh, oh boy! All right. That feels good. Oh. Feels good. Feels very. Gonna run to the bathroom. Dirty, dirty <laughs> people. Uh, let's 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 go ahead and end it. Thank you, folks, so much for watching. David, thank you for being here. You can find us at subpixelteam.com. You can find David at Mizuki13, right? On Twitter. Yeah, I mean, just save data team is more worth your, your effort. That works as well. You can find a Will at Hunt27. You can find at Kyle at Kyle of the Beard. And you can find me at Think Gibson. We've got another stream tomorrow night. Kyle's going to be streaming. And Thursday is local chat. Subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel and Subpixel team on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time on The Bests. Bye. 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 You're the best.